it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to Stardew Valley. So we are back, I think this is part 15, that face I pulled was probably really ugly so please don't screenshot it, now I know you're all going to. But we are back, I have made a lot of pro progress, 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 progress off screen. Basically I did a lot, um, I kind of got a little bit carried away but there weren't really many things happening, like there was no events and people didn't really want much doing. So I kind of focused more on mining and my farm. We got a coop, we have four chickens, I think. I think we have four chickens, uh, which is insane. We now have chickens, whoop whoop. We got a mayo machine. I'm gonna show you guys as we go along in this part, but yeah, I did a lot off screen. I did kind of get carried away a little bit, but enough about that. We made it to like 40 in the mines. We got a lot of stuff done. I need to take these out. Um, I got a new backpack as you guys can see. So we got some quartz. I'm actually gonna sell like the good ones. Um, I'm gonna keep these, this earth crystal. I'm gonna put all this stuff away. Uh, I'm gonna keep the bat wing. I don't know what this is. Oh, okay, so these geodes contain a wide variety of minerals. So we will take that to him. We got some iron ore, um, more bug meat. That kind of doesn't need to be in here, but I guess I'll stick it in here. We also found this because I got to, um, I did get to level 40 and we got a slingshot. I don't actually know what this is for. Uh, if you guys know, then let me know in the comments because that would be awesome if I knew what that was for. We need to give this melon to Demetrius. Um, okay, I definitely need to sort out my inventory. Oh, I'm also gonna, we also got this. Gunther can tell you more about this if you donate it to the museum. So we will in fact donate that to the museum. And I'm gonna stick some of these away. Um, I'll keep the pizza because is a friend's um, gift. And we need to put them in there. I guess we can put our torches away because we aren't going back into the mines for now. Uh, so in this part, we're pretty much, well, today we're going to do some errands and things like that because some people want stuff from us and things like that. I'm gonna quickly tidy this up. I'm gonna stick the sweet pea here and the pizza here and the melon here. And then put those there, put you there. And hopefully, so this is our mayonnaise maker. As I told you, we got one of those. Our crops are all doing well. Um, I'm gonna just sell these pieces of quartz. Hopefully we should have more crops. So we do. Uh, our melons aren't ready just yet, but hopefully they will be soon. Uh, we sold some yesterday. Hopefully these will be ready tomorrow because it's the last day. Um, we're gonna get you out of there. Um, you can be picked. We got some corn over here. So yeah, that's all that's down here. So let's go up here and get these blueberries too. Uh, one, two, there we go. We should earn a lot from those to be honest. Um, that should earn us a little bit of money. So let's stick them all in there and the corn and the radish. Someone wanted wheat, I swear. Um, so we'll just keep that. But yeah, I'm gonna quickly show you my chicken. So as you can see, it is the 27th of summer. Um, tomorrow is the last day. So here are all our chickens. We got chickens, 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 chickens. These actually look like ducks. Why do they look like ducks? I want to know who you are, chicken. Ah, oh, we need to love them all. And we need to love Polly. Oh, he's not in the... Betsy is grumpy. Why is Betsy grumpy? So this is Bill. I know I named some of them boy names when they're chickens. I realized that. Uh, we have Bella. Bella's looking fine. She looks more like a duck than a chicken. Like, why do these look so much like chickens and these look like ducks? Did we get two ducks? They look like little ducklings. Betsy's apparently in a mood with me. How's our silo doing? Is that what they eat? Cause I haven't been feeding them. I'm just kind of hoping that they eat the hay from that. Uh, none of our things are ready. So um, let's go do what we need to do. I'm gonna quickly check this. So far there's no sign of the bottom. How long does it go for? 
So we got to level 40, um, which is, I felt really proud that we did that, that I did that, like so proud. I never thought I was gonna reach level 40 in the mines. And apparently that's where iron becomes really, um, like you can get iron quite quickly there, which is quite good because we definitely need to move from copper to iron for sure. I do want to upgrade my pickaxe. Probably should have checked the thingy. Um, so I haven't spoken to Elliot in the longest time. I don't know if people still come out whilst it's stormy. I really don't think they do. Like I haven't seen anyone. I'm gonna grab this sweet pea. We're gonna go see if Elliot's in his house because I have not seen him in forever. Um, so yeah, we definitely need to give him a second gift for this week. It's locked. No, where is Elliot hiding? I haven't seen him forever. Okay, let's get this coral. Boom. Uh, who is this guy? I've got this old amulet to sell, but something tells me you're not ready for it, miss. If anyone knows how I get ready, how to make my body ready for the amulet, then let me know. Cause I saw him, this creepy old dude waiting by the beach and apparently I'm not ready for it. He doesn't trust me with the amulet that he has, which is fair enough, I guess. I wouldn't trust me with any old amulet either. Uh, Elliot is not around here. I didn't, honestly don't know where he'll be. I don't know where he goes when it's raining. My bay. We had loads of cutscenes. I can't remember which ones I recorded and which ones I didn't. And uh, process our geodes for us, please, dude. Thank you. What is that? Calcite, apparently. And can you break this one open for me? Ooh. Iridum ore. Okay, that's, that's cool. I kind of want him to upgrade my pickaxe and I'm not gonna need it tomorrow. So I'm gonna give it to him. Yeah. Oh, five copper bars. We have them at home, I can go grab them for you right now. I forgot that we needed copper to upgrade. Awkward. Apparently autumn, or fall, as some of you might call it, is like the best time for crops and earning money, which is insane. So, because summer's been good for me. I mean, we have 14,000 so far. And I bought four chickens with that bad boy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm actually looking forward to it. We also need to go check what other farm buildings we can get. I kind of want a barn before winter, but I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Oh, why did I come here? I don't need to be here. I need to go up to the blacksmiths. And I need you to make me a big pickaxe as uh, soon as I can it should be ready in a couple of days nice so we're gonna have a done up thing oh I wonder if the Joja market has something that Elliot loves mm, 
why I didn't think of this, did I? Um, oh, they don't have anything. Nope. They don't have like any meals, which is actually what I wanted. Uh, that's annoying. They don't have anything. Oh man. I was kind of hoping that they'd have like ready meals or something like that, but they unfortunately don't. Let's use the hoe to get these. A rusty spoon. Oh my goodness. It's like salad fingers. Oh yeah, what was that? Oh, pickaxe. I was like, what is missing? Something is missing. No help wanted. And um, tomorrow is Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. I'm excited for it. Um, we should probably go check the Star Drop Saloon. I don't know if they're open, so yeah. Yeah, they are. Awesome. Hi there, Molly. Taking a break. I hope the river doesn't overflow. Oh my god, is that a possibility? Trout soup. Does Elliot like that? I don't know. I'm going to quickly check if Elliot likes that. Okay, so no. Elliot, in fact, doesn't like that. And I just bought a spaghetti by accident. Whoops. Totally didn't mean to do that. <laughs> but yeah, he doesn't like whatever that was. Uh, hey, Sam. Nothing like an ice cold Jojo on a cola sipping wet day, huh? Uh, did we? Oh, we can give him another pizza. Let's do that. Here you go, Sam. Oh yeah, this is my absolute favorite. And we achieved a new thing called a new friend. <gasps> we have five hearts with Sam. That's insane. He's like the first person that we've become that close to. He's our friend, guys. We made a friend. You can't miss tomorrow's festival. It's one of the most beautiful wonders of the valley. Oh no. Does it last all day? Are we not gonna be able to collect our crops? Oh shoot. It literally, because we didn't get like a time. So it's probably all day, which means that I'm gonna miss out on my melons. No! Oh, darn it. If that is real, I'm not gonna be happy. They're twisting my melon, man. Hello, Elliot. How you doing? Sometimes when I lay in bed, I can hear the distant foghorn cut through the rain. But when I look out the window, I see only a curtain of gray. Oh. Uh, let's give him a sweet pea. This is for me, marvelous again. And we're five stars with Elliot too. Yeah, buddy. We're becoming such good friends with everybody. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Everybody loves us. Everybody loves us. Everybody loves us. Let's go and try and meet Demetrius to give him this melon. And I think that's the last errand we actually need to do today. Hey dude, you like sweet peas, but we've already given you two gifts this week, I think. Mmm, I smell a barbecue. Damn, I could go for a burger. So, backstory to Alex. His dad was an alcoholic. That's why he lives with his grandparents. He told me this in a cutscene. I don't think I actually managed to get that one on camera because it kind of took me by surprise. Um, so yeah, he that's why that's his backstory. That's why he lives with his grandparents and Sam his dad is in the army and they don't actually know if he's dead or alive so um that's Sam's backstory just so you guys know just to put it in a little bit of perspective Demetrius I have a melon for you this is perfect it's just what I needed for my research it's going to be hard not to eat it thanks a bunch and we got 550 G for it which is awesome hey dude Okay, that's cool. She's happy with me. I think I'm just gonna go to bed now though uh, and we'll be back for the jelly festival. Yes, we're gonna go to sleep for the night. I'm scared that this is literally worth just wasting money on melons. I'm scared. As soon as we leave our house, I reckon it's gonna, it's gonna do it, isn't it? Mmm. This is not what I wanted. Oh no, 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 it didn't. Yes, we can get our melons. Tonight at around 10 o'clock p.m. 10 o'clock p.m. 
shouldn't that just be 10 p.m a rare and beautiful event will take place the moonlight jellies will be passing by pelican town on their long journey south for the winter we're all gathering at the beach to watch don't want to miss this see you tonight demetrius so 10 p.m we need to keep that in mind because we need to go so let's get our melons yeah buddy this is what i like to see so many crops we're gonna make so much money today i am feeling this no don't eat melon i am feeling this no stop trying to eat melons molly just put them away put your melons away and stop trying to eat them <laughs> okay let's get some blueberries and more melons i worked this out perfectly i am so proud of myself and having my maths actually work i'm like so impressed that they actually worked okay, let's grab our blueberries and there's some more red peppers up here and hey you so uh let's sell this radish and you and you and you and keep you guys yeah and sell the blueberries <laughs> done oh yeah we need to go give love to our chickens i forgot that we need to do this like every day now oh they're all angry with me they're all in a mood with me why are you all in a mood how are they looking thin do we need to feed them because i have not been feeding them i thought they just ate hay oh shoot maybe i should research this okay guys so there is a reason why all my chickens are looking like ill it's because i haven't been feeding them i actually didn't know that you needed to do this so hopefully they will all eat now they're all feeling grumpy and stuff and that's literally because they haven't been eating because i didn't know that we had to take it out of here i just assumed stupidly well not stupidly like i thought chickens would be able to fend for themselves and go over here and pick some hay out but no you have to feed them all clearly right so chickens get eaten no i don't want to change your home building you're all staying in here and you all better eat okay so now that i've saved my chickens from dying uh let's focus on something else <laughs> I feel so bad. I almost killed four baby chickens off. How terrible am I? I am a bad, bad mother. I should not be allowed to have chickens. Why did I think that would be a good thing for me? To do off screen without the aid of you guys. <laughs> but now I know. I figured it out. Well, I didn't figure it out. I actually just wikipedia did it. But you, you get the picture. Right, we need to go and put these bat wings in the community center oh my goodness there is a child screaming outside children be quiet i know it's a weekend because i'm pre-recording but shush okay where is this i think this is in the boiler room one so let's head on down here and oh we have an earth crystal as well but i kind of forgot to put it in uh so we need 10 bat wings how many is that five six seven eight nine ten nine ten so 10 bat wings boom in there um now we need 99 slime i'm not too sure how many slime we actually have um i think all the slime is in the chest near the mines so i'm gonna go quickly check that okay so i only had like five slime up there so not good enough molly you need to get some more but what we're gonna do is again go and try to find some people to impress them with gifts and try to buy them i guess hey maru i bet you're growing some interesting crops right now uh not that many exotic things to be honest i was gonna get a fruit tree but i kind of decided to save my money a little bit um especially as in winter like literally nothing grows all right let's go see alex hey alex are you in here uh he's not actually in here oh he'll probably be by his ice cream stand actually it is still summer and it is definitely sunny right now hey stop that yuck i was trying to talk to you actually aren't you cold they don't make sweaters like they used to i didn't actually want to root through your rubbish i just wanted to say hey to you but uh, 
uh, decided to root through your rubbish instead. Okay, Alex is here, which is what I wanted, right? We should um, put this pizza up here. And, oh, she likes sweet peas as well, so I'm gonna give her one. Just because we have a ton of sweet peas. This is cool, thanks. And we're gonna pick up this sweet pea, obviously. Add more to my collection, why don't we? <laughs> oh, sweet peas have been my saving grace, but in um, fall, I'm kind of scared. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, Elliot's right here, I just walked past you. No, I want you to give it to Elliot. This is for me, marvelous. Right, let's have a chat with him. Visit my cabin whenever you like. I could use the company. Bay. Don't worry, I will. I already do, to be honest. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I definitely already do. Um, I thought Sam would be out skateboarding, but he's not. Is he in his room? Nope. He's not in here. Where is Mr. Sam? He's usually by the beach or like skateboarding here. So I don't actually know where he is. Samuel, where are you? I want to give you pizza. I'm trying to buy your love. Yeah, uh, sometimes he stands down here as well. You know what? We're gonna do some fishing. Why not? Why not do some fishing? We got time to kill. We gotta wait till 10 p.m. So let's do some fishing whilst we're waiting for the jelly thing to start. I'm quite looking forward to this jelly thing. All right, guys. So I'm just killing some time with some fishing. It's 9 p.m. now. So Almost 10 p.m. Almost time for us to go to the festival, which I'm actually really looking forward to. Watch it. I've caught fish off screen. I'm not going to be able to catch this one, am I? Oh, yeah, we got it. But it's just another bream. That's literally all I've been catching. Oh. Right, come on. I just want it to be 10 p.m. Can it be 10 o'clock now? Come on, it's half past, 20 minutes to go. Oh, we got some broken glasses. Come on, man, are you still setting up? Come on, I'm gonna be first in. I'm a keen bean. Oh, one second, go. The dance of the jellies has begun. Let's go to the dance of the jellies. Oh, everybody's here. Let's get chatting to everyone. That's a heavy load of people for an ancient wooden dock. I'll stay over here near the beach. <laughs> I can't believe summer's over. I feel like it just started. I should have brought my camera. I always forget. Oh, little cutie. I want to see the rare green jelly. Life is so easy for a jellyfish. Just letting the waves carry you onward forever. Uh, moonlight jellies. I wonder how they taste. I would never try it, of course. I would. Don't tell Gus, but I'm a little disappointed there's no buffet tonight. <laughs> Same girl. Always thinking about food, Pam. Always thinking about food. Hey, Shane. The jellies were here a year ago, and they'll be back again a year from now. Nature is amazing. I hope there are babies this year. Good evening, Molly. The moonlight jellies are close. I already saw one glowing in the distance. Once we launch the candle boat, they'll come up to the docks and say hello. Most night fish would be scared of light. These are strange ones. There, I just saw something glowing. Oh, it's gone. I've not seen anything glowing yet. Look out there at the endless sea. Deep underwater, all kinds of life forms are moving around in the dark. Eerie, isn't it? Not particularly. I wore my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. Oh. If we keep polluting the oceans, the jellies will surely go extinct. It's already in the process of happening. What a shame. We have no respect for nature anymore. He's a little bit of an eco-warrior. I mean, I know I love Elliot, but he is a bit of an eco-warrior, isn't he? Oh, look at these two having a romantic date over here. All the couples. Psst. Make sure to swing by the shop tomorrow to get your fall seeds. Oh, I will. These candles are romantic, aren't they? I remember seeing the jellies once as a little girl. Oh, how I jumped with joy when they arrived. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm too old to enjoy something like this? I didn't say that. Where's Harvey going? Why is he going like over here by himself? Well, summer's over. To be honest, I'll be happy to say goodbye to these blasted mosquitoes. 
It's kind of cold actually. I guess the fall is right around the corner. It's past my bedtime. Same. The moonlight jelly, what a remarkable species. We're very lucky that they stop here and blah, 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 blah. everyone talks too much. Everyone talks way too freaking much, I swear. Is anyone down here? Leah by herself. The lone wolf. I'm paying my respects to another bygone summer. Oh, she's a cutie pie. I can see why if I didn't go after Elliot, her and him would get together, um, for sure. They are very alike. Come on, Harvey. I'm gonna catch up to you, buddy. Come on, hurry up. Thank you. Right, let's go chat to the last few. Um, I think Sam, oops. I always forget that I'm recording my face and then I do all that weird stuff. Um, Sam and Sebastian and Violet. I keep calling her Violet. I thought I saw, saw something moving in there. Something big, something dark. Just trying to scare you. Such a rare and exciting thing. I wonder if they're poisonous. Maybe I shouldn't push Sebastian in the water after all. Do we go and click on this boat now? I feel like I've spoken to everyone. Everyone, like... This is probably a really long part because everyone can talk so much. Are we gonna do it away? What do you think? Should I launch the boat? Yes. Launch the boat. Launch the boat. Let's see the jellies. No. There we go. The boat's gone. Where are the jellies? Let me see the jellies. <gasps> There's a jelly. Right there. There's a jelly. Mm. Oh. Summer is over and summer is gone. I can't believe summer's over. Look at all the jellies. There's no green ones though. Like Vincent wanted. <gasps> baby jellies! There are baby ones though. Aren't they gonna get stuck like up here? Whoops, maybe I shouldn't say stuff like that. But surely they are. They aren't all like going in one direction, which I thought they would, considering they're moving for winter. But <gasps> there's a green one. Look at him. He's like a rare jelly. He's come right up to me. Hi, Mr. Jelly. Oh, he's cute. He's my new friend. I shall name him Squishy and he shall be my Squishy. <laughs> Ah, oh, that was really cute. I like that. It was very relaxing. The glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on towards the great unknown. Bye-bye, jellies. And it's 12 a.m. Let's get into bed. Get into bed. Yes. Let's see how much money we earn. We got level 7 in farming, and we got a loom, which is nice. 7,000! That's not as- that's not my best. I've had 9,000 before, but that's pretty good. First of fall, year one. But of course I am going to end this part here because this part's been super long, so thank you to everyone who stuck around for it all. I hope you all enjoyed this part. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Leave all of your comments and suggestions down below. In the next part, we'll get all our autumn crops set up and I'm also hoping to sort out my farm. So join me next time in Stardew Valley. Bye guys.